Welcome to my unboxing of the High Current Gamer M 620 watt from Antex. So this is once again a bit of a departure from Antex traditional style of um, not focusing as much on modular power supplies to the point where now they are focusing more on modular power supplies. I am a huge advocate of modular power supplies. Yes, there are drawbacks such as, for example, they are slightly less efficient due to the modular interfaces on the inside, although there have been advances there, as well as due to the cable connections that will slightly reduce the efficiency of the power supply. However, I believe the benefits far outweigh the drawbacks, so I, yes, I like modular power supplies, and I'm happy to see Antec move in this direction with their PSUs. This particular unit, we're going to find a bunch of interesting stuff about it on the outside. So one is that it uses a 135 millimeter dual ball bearing fan. This is another huge improvement that Antec has made over the last couple of generations where they went from using 80 mil fans on their high end power supplies to using almost all 120 plus millimeter fans. Thumbs up. All Antec power supplies are rated for continuous power. So not peak power, not burst power, not like, you know, fairy dust power, continuous power. High current cable management, okay, that much is good and fairly evident. Universal input, okay, let's find if we can see anything high current output, okay. 12 volt single rail, very nice, single 12 volt rail, okay. ATX this, advanced hybrid cable management, continuous power, wow, this is all stuff that we've already seen before, aha, Japanese brand capacitors. It is 80 plus bronze certified, which is also kind of nice as well. So remember 80 plus bronze is a step above 80 plus and a step below 80 plus silver. So most sort of mid range power supplies are 80 plus bronze these days. And the advantage of 80 plus in general, the higher you go in terms of 80 plus, remember Antec has products ranging all the way up to 80 plus platinum with their high current pro. Whoops, I dropped it. High current pro 1000. Uh, which has a max efficiency of 94%. I mean, you can hardly call it 80 plus at that point. It's more like you know, almost 90 plus. Um, so you do have a wide variety of options. This is just one of them with 80 plus bronze. So let's have a look at the unit itself. On the side, we see pretty much your sort of standard, like, you know, it's got a label and it has an Antec stamp on it. Actually, this has a pretty high quality paint finish on it too. That's nice. It's one of those little things, right, where it has a bit of a texture to it, so it's not going to be easy to scratch, which is really important because one of the first things that you can do to totally bork a power supply is go ahead and like install it this way and then realize that, oh, the cables don't reach, and then you flip it over and install it the other way only to realize that the top of it is all covered in scratches from putting it in the case. So if you have a high quality paint finish on the unit, then you don't have to worry about that as much. I mean, you, the flip side of that is you could just be careful, but you know, not everyone's careful all the time. So, right, label, 135 millimeter dual ball bearing fan with a very aggressive, very high pressure looking uh, blade design. Actually, that looks just like beastly. What kind of fan is there? It's an Ada fan. Fascinating, that thing looks beautiful. Okay, Antec design, continuous power since 1986. Antec is officially about as old as I am. Okay, you can see on the other side, how would you normally install this? So. Oh, that's a shame. Okay, so Antec hasn't figured out the whole like label going the other way thing, unfortunately. So if you were to install this in a bottom mounted system, well, even if in a top mounted system, no matter what, if you were to install it this way, this label would unfortunately be upside down. I mean, I guess you could peel it off and put it back on, but you could also put it this way. All right, here we see the general, general specs and stats. So we have up to 48 amps on a single 12 volt rail and it's 80 plus bronze. This is all stuff that we have pretty much covered already. The 12 volt max load is 576 watts, so that means this particular power supply design does have actual dedicated circuitry for the 3.3 volt and 5.5 volt rails. It is not just converting 12 volt in order to get those other voltage outputs. Now let's have a look at, oh, you know what? We didn't even cover the environmentally friendly packaging. This is one of those things that some people might not care about, but personally I think Antec is right to be making an effort to do this kind of stuff. So they have found a way to package almost all of their power supplies these days in corrugated cardboard instead of using uh, foams that don't biodegrade and will pretty much still be there when your grandkids and your great grandkids are throwing away their styrofoam. Hopefully they have a better solution by then. But uh, yeah, and this is also made of like a papery material. So all of this stuff 
is relatively environmentally friendly when you compare it to super heavy on the styrofoam and plastic packaging solutions from competitors. So, we don't have a ton of included cables. I wouldn't have minded seeing a few more of these, but we've got one triple Molex cable. And these are all, hey, look at this. This is using their, um, shoot, what do they call it? Hold on, I have to cheat. Some kind of like stealth cable something or something like that. Stealth wires, yes. All wires darkened for minimal visibility. So Antec is all about, they're very by the book. Like as a company, these guys are just like, like by the book, kind of rigid. Mm -hmm. I mean, not in a bad way, but what they basically were like, is like, uh, oh, well, our competitors are doing cables with all black wires. Well, we don't believe in that because it's not safe because there's a chance at the factory or when an end user is re-sleeving the cable or whatever else for these wires to be mixed up. Now, what Antec's solution to that is, is wires that are half colored and half black. So check this out. See? Yellow on the one side, black on the other side. So what that means is when you wrap them in sleeving, they look almost pure black because they're only half colored compared to having full colored cables inside, but Antec maintains that same standard of safety and consistency that they strive for. So it's one of the, it's, it's interesting things like that where, you know, you see that that rigidity, that unwillingness to, to bend on something like a safety standard, but with the adaptability where they want to go, okay, but we need to address this need in the market for our cables to look nicer. So I think that's kind of cool. It's kind of a neat story when you, when you hear about it. Uh, thermal manager, advanced low voltage fan control for optimal heat and noise management, up to 92.9% power available on the 12 volt rail. What else are we missing here? Stealth wires, Antec quality three year limited warranty on all parts and labor as well as full suite of industrial grade protections. You can actually, I mean, if you Google around enough, you can find plenty of incidents of other brands of power supplies just like catastrophically failing, um, especially overcurrent protection is the big one. All Antec power supplies actually have overcurrent protection, not all of their competitors. Even some of the bigger names that you might not expect do have overcurrent protection. So moving on, right. We have one with three Molexes, one with three Molexes and a floppy in case you still have something that uses that, whether it's a card reader or whatever else. We have a power cable that is included, nice flexible one, seems to be reasonably high quality. Four installation screws, wouldn't mind if those were black, but I guess it's not the end of the world. Three SATA cables, or three SATA connectors on one cable, three SATA connectors on another more different cable, and finally, two PCIe 6 plus 2 pin cables. So you can connect up to one high-end graphics card or two fairly low-end graphics cards, like sort of 77, 70 class. We have a 24 pin cable. It's actually a nice thin, thin connector, also using their stealth wire, so you can see that is so much less uh, obtrusive than, than like a more traditional. You know what? I should look around and I should see if I can find like a more traditional approach power supply. It's like snapping. He says this one. Ah, yes. So that's an OCZ ZX series power supply. So you can see the wide variety of colors that are available in there. Mind you, they've done a pretty good job of sleeving it right to the end anyway. So, okay, let's go back. And moving right along to the last one, we have a nice long, approximately, hmm, let's see, it's about one Linus arm length, uh, four plus four pins, so that's good for your CPU power connector. So this is a 620 watt power supply. You won't be powering any high-end dual graphics configurations, and you won't be powering any high-end dual CPU configurations. So the one thing I wouldn't mind seeing improved is maybe one more, uh, one more SATA connector, something along those lines. That would be, that would be kind of nice to see. But other than that, it's not the end of the world. Um, this is cool though, check this out. So in order to give you lots of options, Antec has allowed you to either go for very few peripherals and four PCIe cables, although you'd have to source your own cables. Okay, so check that out. So we can put in our two PCIe cables, and then they've given you this sort of modularity where you can go, okay, well, hey, what if I uh, only have one graphics card, but I want to have like four peripheral connectors? Well, what you can do is you can plug them in here, or you can plug them in here. So they give you the option to use the connectors, the modular, the modular sockets for whichever cables you want, which is pretty neat. On the back, you find your traditional honeycomb as well as your on-off switch and your power input, and I think that pretty much covers it. Thank you for checking out my unboxing and first look at the High Current Gamer M from Antec. This is the 620 watt version, although it is available in a couple of different wattage capacities. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos.